Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Loving, I love Solana at the moment. Um, it really seems to be working out and people get back, um, get an interest back into Solana. And again, you know, in, in my opinion, it just shows that the TA works. Um, you know, we, we came down here, talked about the target area in November. It reversed in the target area and is now coming higher. I had so many comments down here that said, you know, Solana is dead. Um, Solana is a dead coin. It's not working out, network hacks, whatever, blockchain hacks, blockchain shutdowns, whatever, um, DDoS attacks, I don't know, but so many people saying that down there and the sentiment is completely shifting again. You know, it's all a question of sentiment. People up here said, you know, Solana is going to the moon. Of course it didn't. We talked about that upcoming correction down here. We then said the price is going to recover. We're going to get out of this, you know, maybe we go a little bit lower. Maybe we don't, you know, because we reached a target area already. So you have to assume at any point in time that the price can from here go higher and reach new all time highs. Of course, not in a straight line, even though at the moment it really looks a bit like a straight line, um, which is fantastic. And the next price target, you know, we talked about those price targets, $105. Next one was 122 all reached. Next one was 130 reached. Next one is 150, not reached yet. But today we got all the way up to 144, which is amazing. But the next one here at 150 will be a, a difficult one. That 200 day moving average, Bitcoin didn't get through it. So this will be a tricky one for Solana. It's also very close to then after that, you've got the $158 level. So it's pretty much here that zone yeah, that uh, will be, in my opinion, will be hard to get through here from that 200 day moving average all the way up to that peak of the wave four, or maybe even a little bit higher to $161 because this is the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level. So this will be um, a bit of a zone here. Yeah. So I'll highlight that in red because this will be resistance. I have get so many questions today. Is it too late to get into Solana? And I told you before, I'm not going to answer these questions because first of all, I mean, I understand it when you found this channel late, that, that, that's understandable uh, because we talked about this as a buying area down here. But on the way down, I already dollar cost average into a Solana at $130. So we are very close to that level. And I leave it to you to decide then is it too late to buy in or not. Um, <clears throat> so this is a level where I bought before, you know, on the way down because 130 was an important level as well on the way down the $130 level that 50% Fibonacci retracement. So that was a very, very important level and i already started to buy in there because you know the price could have turned around there but i was happy to hold even lower prices temporarily because i was pretty sure that as soon as solana has finished its th uh, second wave to the downside it can make a rocket start and to be honest i talked about rocket starts for this wave three so many times um and uh, yeah I told you in the last few videos already that this could really have been the low so we are already prepared here for higher prices of course, there will always be dips. Um, Solana is now getting into the overbought range on the daily. What if you compare it to what Solana did before when it came here into the um, into the overbought level? So it got overbought and it was only here. It was only at around $80. So then um, it was able to maintain that high level on the RSI and move all the way up to $218, yeah, 216. So, you know, Solana can hold and maintain such a high level on the RSI. It did that before here, here, you know, here. It can hold that for a few days, but it's just something to be aware of generally. And I know it's always tricky because a lot of people get interested in cryptos and in stocks and shares when, when they are overbought, um, when they, you know, <laughs> just a little bit of, of my mindset is get interested when prices are low, when everybody's exiting the market. That is when I like to get interested and I like to get less interested when we are massively overbought. Now, just because we're overbought on the daily doesn't mean we have to stop the uptrend. Absolutely not, because we have the higher level timeframes which show a different picture. Um, yes, on the two day chart, we're getting nearly into the overbought range, but on the four day chart, we are still fairly low. You know, we're only at 57. So the last time we went up and we were at 57, we were lower. So we were roughly, um, I think probably around $42. So 
from there obviously we made a huge jump and that allows you and gives you an idea of how high we could actually go in this move up because now we're at the same level on the RSI four day chart but we are already higher with the price so you're gonna move higher as well you know this is my view uh, here on the weekly as well much more scope to the upside here on the weekly pretty much the price or the stochastic RSI has only just started to move higher and we're not even having a bullish crossover on the MACD again if that is playing out that will usually also translate into higher prices even here longer term now in the short term what are we doing here so we are have not lost any momentum in my opinion yeah we continue to move higher you can't see a bearish divergence at all on the four hour chart you can see it by looking at the price that we are moving up pretty much as i said in a straight line uh, but even here you have waves everything works you know moves in waves everything in the universe even prices of course but everything else as well so what we have here is you can draw a trend line because i'm not you had a few questions you know when is the price going to turn around now i can't tell you when the price is going to turn around for a dip um because we don't know you, you there is no way of forecasting you know let's say we call this a first wave let's say we call this a second wave and let's just uh let's just label it okay um let's say you've got here your first wave let's say you have your second let's say this is the third wave let's say that gets all the way up to 150 dollars we don't know yet because it could be an extended wave i don't know how long it will take so we can only calculate that wave four as soon as we know how high did the wave three go okay uh, we can make assumptions we can say yeah maybe it's getting all the way up to 150 dollars and i would expect a retracement from there yeah so let's just assume it will reach a peak here at 150 and how much will it then come down so we can draw these um let's say let's draw the fips let's draw the fips and um throw that wave three and that's let's let's assume it will get to 150 then you would expect a retracement down to at least 135 so in the range between 135 and 115 us dollars that is typically what you would see for a wave four yeah from there it could then start again and go higher in a wave five um where are we currently in terms of fibonacci extensions so normally the wave three would be expected to reach at least the 1.618 fib extension looking at the price i'm pretty sure we're already there so let's just draw those fib extensions so yeah we did reach the 1.618 already here at 126 us dollars um, and we're climbing higher maybe we even get to the 2.618 fib extension at 156 dollars but bear in mind that we have the the 200 day moving average at 150 dollars so would expect resistance there and then a correction down a little bit of you know you're currently breathing in you also need to breathe out yeah so you've got the breathing in and the breathing out moving in waves you know that is so important you know i'm not able to tell you when to buy because this eventually depends on your own strategy i have no idea if you're doing short-term trading i have no idea if you're doing longer swing term if you just have a hodl portfolio why not dollar cost averaging at 139 if the price protection is 300 400 dollars plus for solana yeah in the longer term so uh you know that that's all up to you and also i can't give you financial advice anyway so that's entirely up to you everybody who's moving in financial markets needs to make needs to be able to make very clear decisions for themselves and i can here of course support with my own experience and my own knowledge and what i know and see here in the market all right that's my view on solana really impressive performance at the moment but we know that solana can go uh, crazy when it does because it did that before yeah we did crazy moves up here before and um no at no point we believed on this channel that it would be a dead coin so uh, yeah it's currently playing out but as i said there will be another dip and especially after that fifth wave you know we may currently three waves here probably come down in the fourth go up in the fifth after that you get a larger abc in my opinion that would also be another opportunity to get in in my opinion all right um, hopefully you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye